guys and welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna show you guys how to grow beets from a beet okay don't need to waste time going to get any seeds just get that beet from your refrigerator okay I'll show you how we cut and after it's cut these are the results after a week you these are ready to be replant on the soil so i'll show you guys how to get to this point from this point okay so grab a bee a knife and we're gonna cut guys right here one finger underneath okay like this that's it like that And you see guys, it's kind of like dehydrated, so it needs water. So all you do is you grab a glass, okay, with cold water or room temperature, doesn't matter, not hot. And you place your beet on your glass of water, okay? Make sure you fit it in. If, look, if it goes down like that, look. So you need to put some toothpick like I did on this ones. I'll show you look. So the beat it's sturdy, okay? It doesn't go down. So as you can see, this one, you need to put some toothpick. So I'll show you guys how it's done. Okay. Grab a toothpick. Like three, either three or four, depending on the glass. And you stick it here, here, and here. Okay, so look, the toothpick will not let it go all the way down. So, this is all you need. You need the base of the bee to touch the water. So, okay, so here we spell. A little bit of water so you just place more water okay like that look and then in a week or so you will start seeing some of the beet leaves okay and then that means it's ready to be replanted so we have a bunch of more to get it done so let's do that and show you guys again look so we come here cut it see it's very dry dehydrated so it does need water, okay, over here like this, okay? So turn it around. Now it's time to make sure you have organic and fresh legumes, vegetables, you know. You want to take care of your health. After all this pandemic, you need to have a good immune system. So you don't really have to have a backyard to plant these. You can plant them in a bucket, okay? So, I have some glass of water ready here, ready to go. Look, you try to tuck it in. Like that, beautiful. Look, this one fit perfectly. There you go. Oops. 
take this out. Looks too big, right guys? So this one totally will need a toothpick. Sometimes you do need four, okay? So just try. This glass, the top is very wide. So totally need four. Look, it's not touching the water. So we need to refill with more water, okay? It's important for the bee to be touching the water so it does get some hydration. Okay, another one here. It's not enough water, so some more water. There you go. Two more to go. Let's see. No, so we need to pick. This one too will be enough. Look, if you see, it starts to do that. So when that happens, you need a third toothpick. Okay, like that. Beautiful. We have one more. Here there's a plastic cup. So just let's stick our toothpick. Not all the way in, okay, guys? It's just to hold it in place. Look. Three. So now, all with this extra that leaves, we will cut it, okay? Let's just cut it. This green one might be, you know, now that the beads are in the water. It might come back to life, so I will leave it. I leave it as it is. So just cutting this, the steams. Okay. There's one reed growing here. Look. So we move that aside and cut the rest. Okay. So now you'll ask me, so what are we gonna do with the rest of the bee? Okay, these are all washed, as you've seen my videos. And we're just gonna come here. Look, I have a pressure pan with water and we'll place it on the boiling water Okay, and we will pressure cook for 20 minutes. That's all you need is 20 minutes on the pressure cooker. Okay, like that. Make sure they're all merged into the water. Okay, so we'll close it. Pressure, okay, on pressure. And after the pressure, after it gets the pressure, okay, you put 20 minutes. So I'll give it a, a 10 minutes to start the pressure and then we'll check it out, okay? So, guys, I hope you like my tips, okay, of how to regrow beets from a beet okay so soon i will put this on the pot outside today it's raining so we're not really gonna go outside my celery it's ready to go also if you watch my videos before 
you seen that I cut the celery and look uh, so this is it guys I will make another video to show you guys how to do the onions look my red onions is almost ready to go it's actually look here the green it's actually coming to life again so all you need is to place it on on a glass of water too and look the water is dirty is it time to change the water I'm actually doing that right now and I have more here as you can see my avocados and onions carrots cutting look carrots Mexican onions look. it's almost time to go outside so this is it I hope you guys like the video and subscribe share this video so all your family and friends can have beats all year long okay guys continue with my beat video uh, maybe there's somebody out there that's interesting on how the beat is gonna turn out so I'm making a video it just passed the 30 minutes okay and I'm going to turn it off and I'm gonna let it cool and I'll come back and show you guys how the beat look inside all right hang on so let's see how the beads turn out to be okay so it has passed like three hours since we done this so I'm gonna open for the first time all right So look, delicious, ready to go. So only peel it when you're ready to eat it. If you're not going to eat quiet now, don't peel it. Save it like this on your fridge, okay? So we're gonna place it right here. Guys, very nutrition. Hopefully next time we eat beets will be for our from our garden from our beets cutting. So guys, if you like the video, subscribe, share, share to all your friends and family so they can all have fresh beets. Okay, and now it's time for our afternoon coffee and. While I enjoy my coffee, you guys can go ahead and get your beets, cut it, place it on the water, and you can have your beets ready to go on soil soon, okay? Take care. Thank you.